Hey everyone, Bricknut here. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Lego Technic set number 9395 and it is from the year 2012 and has 954 pieces. Now it is a two vehicle set. You can dismantle this and build the truck with the um, side loading lift thing on it but that didn't appeal to me as much as this one. So I went ahead and built this. It was partially assembled when I got it. There's some broken elements, especially on the passenger side, this side. Um, it actually looks like it got dropped um, on this side because all of this bit was all broken and yeah. So I've replaced the broken parts. These are still the incorrect colour. They're still light grey, not black. I'm, need to uh, find some of those so um, yeah let's get started so it does have a number of features it's got opening doors both sides they don't open all the way though they open till to there so it's a bit hard to see in but there's inside the driver's side this lever allows you to engage the winch which is all the way forwards like that and all the way back lets you engage the lift and in the middle somewhere there is neutral that doesn't activate anything so I've got that, we've got the steering wheel, we've got some sticker on the dashboard there with um, clocks and dials and things so there's a little bit of detail there uh, there's um, a number of stickers, there's a big one on the door for Fred's garage there's some of these sort of check plate stickers, there's one, two, three this side, same the other side one by eight tiles. Uh, nice big wheels that free wheel quite well. Um, it does have steering, but it doesn't operate from a steering wheel. It operates from a little gear wheel up here on the roof, like that. Um, it's actually covered in a lot of lights on the front. We've got these three transparent wedge pieces there for headlights, plus these two here which I'm guessing are for turn signals and some of these up on the roof as well some spotlights light bar which I actually think is a bit too small for this it just looks too small um, so I'm gonna make that bigger I'm gonna see what it looks like made larger um, and if you follow my Facebook page I'll put a photo of it on there um, it's got side mirrors, that's one niggle because uh, they do move around quite freely. I'm often finding these in the down position like that because they just get knocked so easily. That's um, one of two little niggle points I can think of on this. We'll get to the other one in a bit. I've got these little amber pieces here, these amber studs, transparent studs for um, marker lights. got a little Technic logo sticker there, side exit exhaust, nice bit of detail. I like this roll bar piece, that light bar is attached. But I just think what I'm going to do is make it wider and probably double the thickness of this because I think that will uh, look more its um, size. I'll have a play with that later. Uh, so there's the um, rear shot. I've got a couple of stickers there, the rear lights. That is my second niggle because they do the same thing. They're always getting knocked and on finding these in um, weird and wonderful positions they just fall like that the vibrations of moving it around cause them to fall but uh, so far that's the only niggle I've got with this just you know just a couple of little niggles that you can't really do anything about to be honest so I just gotta live with it unless I can find another method to solve it I don't know but I think I'll leave it as it is so Here's the other side with another side exit exhaust. Here's your little dial to control the winch, which is right there, with a little wheel or a little lock to lock the gear there so you can't move it. And operates your spec lift. There's also a drive shaft that goes from the back wheels to the engine bay, because there is an engine under here, because the hood does open. And if I show you under the hood, Nope, I got caught up on the cable. 
you can see that the pistons do move up and down. There's a nice bit of detail there. Not a great deal of detail in the engine bay, but there's enough. Um, there's a sticker on the hood as well, two stickers actually, there's one either side there. Uh, then we've got the number plate sticker and the hazard pattern stickers there, there's two. We've got a number plate, oh we have got a number plate on the rear, I forgot about that, it's right in the middle there. That's probably what I forgot about, it's quite hidden in there. PB9187. So, it does free wheel quite nicely. Oh, I forgot to mention it's got like a tow piece on the front there. It's like a towing eye, that's what they would call it on a real vehicle, the towing eye. A lot of these um, tow trucks have that feature on there as well. Well, all vehicles have that feature, but that one's more of a meant to represent a heavy duty one. Uh, is there any other features to point out? No, this can be motorised. Because I will just point that out on the back here. There is enough axle shaft to put a motor on, and there is instructions to fit the motor, so you can motorise all of this if you want. Um, so I guess I can demonstrate the winch and the the vehicle lift. I know it's a spec lift. I do know another name for it, but it's completely gone out of my mind at the moment. I can't remember. Um, spec lift is just one name, so. I'm just going to open up this door and I'm going to flip the lever up backwards. So when I now rotate the knob here, I don't know why, but it sort of gets stuck and then starts again. But there we go, we're all the way down. Um, real tow trucks do have this sort of thing. Um, they basically lower it like that and they get the car or vehicle wheels that they're towing onto this and strap the wheels down to this and then just I can't remember which way to turn the dial and they just lift it up like that and they can tow it away so up the top here we have the winch which should actually let me pull it out like that got quite a long bit of string on it and uh, if I flick the uh, gear shift forwards you should be able to see that gear wheel spinning around. Just winds it back in. That should lock the gear wheel as well. Not very well because I'm still pull the. Hmm. Well, I thought that was a lock for that, but it doesn't seem to do much. Unless you, yeah, unless you hold it down like that, it acts a bit like a brake. But no, other than that, it doesn't seem to do a great deal. Let's just bring my lift all the way back up. Whee. I actually think this is a cool little truck. I do like this. It's one of my favourites. I just need to find a home to put this. Um, yeah, this is one of the pieces in here that I had to replace because it had broken down the bottom. And there was another beam hiding under this log, light grey one that I had to replace because that had got broken as well. Right where the um, axle pin go in the cross section piece, um, it snapped on there. So I was pretty certain this got dropped by the previous owner or it rolled off the shelf or something. Because I'm um, going by the dust on it, it was displayed. And I don't blame them, this is a really nice truck. Reminds me very much of an American light duty tow truck. Um, we don't have anything, at least not with this sort of cab design and the wide rear end design. We don't have anything like that in the UK. Very much, in my opinion, an American design at least. And I've got nice blue seats in there. It looks like that bit and what it has. So I don't understand how it's done that. This has just been stored in the kitchen and I went to get this for the review and I even found this little beam here. One of these was missing. It was missing on this side and I have no idea how. <clears throat> the only thing I've done is move it around the kitchen when I needed to make a bit of room or something, you know. Never mind. See if I got that. Yep. 
yeah, it's a, it's a very nice looking truck. It's well built. Um, like I said, the only little niggles I can find are the mirrors because they rotate a bit easily. Same with the tail lights. But, uh, like I said, it's just little niggles, just little annoyances that you can live with. I can live with it anyway. I might see if I can come up with something else just to make them a little bit stiffer to move. Um, but I'm doubting that I can. You would need um, one of those friction pins which would mean rearranging this whole area. So I might just leave it as it is. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think maybe this evening or at some point in the future I will probably use a 2 by 12 piece in there to make the new light bar. Because that's probably my only other niggle. That light bar just looks ridiculously small for this truck. I don't know what anyone else thinks but it, it really does look small to me. This big truck and then we've just got that tiny little light bar on the roof. You know it's meant to be to represent a long double-sided light bar but that just looks like it shrunk in the wash. <laughs> I'm guessing it's down to piece count. I'm guessing that's what a lot of it boils down to. So um, yeah I'm gonna modify that myself. It may not look right the idea I've got in my head. And my idea is, is to put a longer because it's on a 2x8 plate. So my idea is, is to go for 2x12 so it's longer and then double these up as well but keep them the same length so it's one of these wedge transparent wedges with 1x2 transparent plates and tiles. And I was just thinking of doubling it up. Oh, I forgot that did that. <laughs> There we go. So it's an easy modification. This is whether it's going to look good or not. That's the question. We'll see. I'll post a photo up on my uh, Facebook page. Um, and I may even drop one on the Discord server as well. Anyway, I think that sums up this video. There's really not much else I can point out. I've demonstrated everything. These tiles do that. It's a bit. Ah, that's the other issue. It's a bit flexible in places. Can you see that? Don't think anything is. No, the other side's exactly the same. So that is its design. So it's a bit flexible. But again, nothing major. It's still built strongly. It's not going to fall to pieces on you apart from parts that fall off mysteriously. I think I've just got Lego Gremlins, you know, because I always find things that I don't remember taking apart or falling off things and bits go missing. I'm going to blame it on my Lego figures. They come alive at night, you know, when I'm not looking. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out and it's very much appreciated. And uh, I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.